In the capital of England, the annual London Landmarks Half Marathon is possibly one of the most culture-filled annual foot races in the world. Lucky enough to have secured a place in this ballot and charity entry only event, I headed up to London one bright April morning to take part. Here's how the morning went. Good morning everyone, we are here in London for the London Landmarks Half Marathon 2022. This is a ballot only entry half marathon, there's about 14,000 general places. It's the only half marathon in London that runs through the city of Westminster and the city of London itself. It's filled with brilliant landmarks. I'm going to hopefully show you some of those today on my way around the course. So without further ado, let's get to the start line and get going. I'm about three miles into this now, just crossed 21 minutes on my watch and it's been a nice run so far, past some of the key landmarks in London. I'm not going for a PB this morning because I'm recovering from a pretty bad uh, shin splint injury and I'm just taking a gentle jog in this wave. Nice run so far. Six and a half miles, just over halfway, and so far it's a pretty nice course. It's fairly flat as expected, being based in the centre of London like this. The only real challenge this morning has been the sun, which has been pretty relentless up to this point, but luckily there's loads of shade. So if you're thinking of doing this in the future, it's a good marathon, half marathon to start with, or a good one just to get some more training in, if you're training for a bigger race in the future.
just over 10 miles in now and I'm taking it a little bit slower. My leg is starting to play up and hurt a little bit. The last thing I want to do is to cause myself any more injury. Uh, for the sake of it, what's key to know about this half marathon is that the charity support on the sides of the road is absolutely phenomenal. I would say I've seen about, I don't know, 200 different charities on the side of the road cheering on the runners, which is fantastic. This event itself is organised by a baby charity called Tommy's here in the UK. And they've done a brilliant job in leading the coordination of this fantastic art marathon. Right, let's keep it up, only three miles to go. Well, there we have it, ladies and gents. The London Landmarks Half Marathon 2022 completed. Not sure what my time was. I will put my official time somewhere at the bottom here once I get home. Um, it's very good when you finish the line. You get this bag. It's got loads of random stuff in it. Obviously, it's got the medal in it. It's got a bar, a raspberry flavoured drink, water in a can, so it's better for the environment. And I think you get some kind of sweatband for your arm. So not a bad post-race little gift there from the organisers. I've been Craig. Try new things, try being more. I'll see you in the next video. Though not my fastest half marathon, I was glad to have been able to take part in this fun race which raises millions for charity each year. If you're lucky enough to get a place via a ballot entry or by running for charity, you will love every step of the way of this brilliant half marathon.